everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got one more Rainbow of Happiness project for you today. Um, if you didn't check out Facebook Friday, go back uh, to my blog, one post back, and there are three more projects. I am using the Rainbow of Happiness bundle right here. Uh, this is a fantastic bundle from the new 2022 Stampin' Up! Mini Spring Catalog. Um, I'm also using the celebration paper that coordinates with it. Um, we're going to use this pattern right here. We're going to use this pattern. Um, this is a free item you can get with a $50 purchase uh, now through the end of February. It has lots of colors in it. So if you're wondering what the colors are, in your paper you can always turn to the back and they have them listed right here um, there are lots of colors in this paper so you have lots of options and you know that your um, ink pad your marker your ribbon all of it will coordinate uh, which is the beauty of Stampin' Up! products okay well let's get started this is one of my favorite cards because it's a little different than the things that I have done in the past with this bundle we're going to take this if I can get it right here we're going to take this paper right here we're going to cut two rainbows out and then we're going to use this die which I put right here hello it's in front of me and we're going to cut out this die will cut out this rainbow but it cuts the strips apart which we don't want to do um, but we do want some strips some pattern strips so we're going to cut the patterns from these two pattern papers we're also going to make a cloud border as you can see with the cloud border die from the basic border dies um, which is i think a must have if you get the rainbow bundle you you've got to get <laughs> In my opinion, you've got to get this cloud die. All right, I'm using my mini cut and emboss machine, and I'm gonna take my cloud die first, put it at the top, and we're gonna run it through. All of these rainbow dies will fit in here, which is nice. You don't need your big machine for these. All right, now we're gonna do it again. And I will tell you a little indulgent secret. I have two sets of these dies because I do this kind of stuff all the time. I bought two sets so that I could make a strip with both ends um, without having to run it through twice. So if you love the basic border dies, get yourself two sets. Um, with the, the Rick Rack, the zigzag die, you can also put them together and make a Rick Rack real easily. Now, of course, I know that's a little bit indulgent, but Sometimes when you do a lot of cutting like I do, it's worth it. All right, I'm gonna cut a strip of this to fit into our machine. And I think that we can cut this out at the same time if my rainbow will behave. Okay. Now when you cut this out, you're actually gonna have a lot of strips. So you can potentially make a, you know several rainbows like this. All right, push those out. Now, we're gonna have to use our scissors to cut these out. Because like I said, if we cut the die, if we use the die that matches, it's just gonna cut those strips out and that's not what we want. So get your paper snips. And cut around. Uh, about two rainbows. You're going to need two. All right. And I always say stay on the outside. Leave a little white border around it. That way your, your cutting edge is not going to be seen. The only thing that's going to be seen is the edge of the image. Okay. Now this is a little bit tricky, but we definitely want to get the inside here. Okay. Like that. Use your, if you're right-handed, use your left hand to turn the paper as you cut. Don't turn your the hand that's using the scissors. Okay, now we're gonna take these and we're gonna adhere that there and that there. Whoops, nope, this one. You're actually gonna need to do this twice, aren't you? Yep, let's bring that back over. You're gonna to need to cut that twice. I forgot. Let's do it again because we need two 
third level greens and two fourth level blues. <laughs> all right, that's all right. Let's punch them out, get them out of here. There's our blue right there, it looks pink. And our green. Granny Apple Green and Bermuda Bay are those colors. Now take your Tombow and put a very light bit of glue. You don't want to do a lot because then it'll squish out. I am very heavy handed with my glue. I have a hard time just doing a, a light. All right. Now they're very small. So the easiest way is to grab your, take your pick tool on the putty end and pick these pieces up and lay them down where they need to go like that. Okay. Lay that down right there and that one right there. All right, now let's give that a little bit of time to dry. We can start putting our card together. Um, I am using Magenta Madness, which is that top color in our rainbow, a Magenta Madness card base. This is a half a sheet of cardstock cut at four and a fourth and is scored at five and a half. Um, I have cut down a piece of designer series paper that is three and five eighths by four and seven eighths um, in a basic white that is three and three fourths by five um, for the mat. Now go back to my blog. I'll have those written down for you so that you don't have to try to remember what I said. Okay, let's put this on here like this. Now, we've got this border. It's going to be too long. We're going to trim it off, um, but we need to stamp the sentiment. All right, we're going to stamp the sentiment kind of over on the left or the right side in Misty Moonlight, which matches that background paper. And we'll take this and put it right across the middle. And I'm going to, I think I'll match up about that edge like that. Now, take your scissors or your trimmer and just trim that off like that. All right, now we're going to take our rainbows and we're going to tuck them in, coming out from behind that rainbow like that. And then we'll have one that goes right here. So there's not a lot of stamping on this card, as you notice. I mean, we're really using this free celebration paper. We're making it work for us. Now take your Wink of Stella and add some sparkle to your rainbow. This is an easy, easy, easy way to add a little sparkle. You're not going to have glitter in your hair, on your dog. It just comes out with a light brush. Doesn't make a mess and it dries almost instantly. All right, now I'm gonna take linen thread and tie that around the top seam. Tie a bow right there. Like that. Snip, snip. Last but not least, let's add a little bit of, I don't know, some jewels some bling. This is, uh, these are our opal rounds and they're like little balls of clear glitter. They uh, look just are really fun. If you use your putty end of your take your pick tool, you can put those on there pretty easily. Whoa, like that. How about one more? And right there. And there you have it. Isn't that a fun, easy card? Now remember that designer series paper is only available through the end of uh, February 2022, unless it sells out, which hopefully it won't, but you never know. Um, so make sure you grab that. Uh, it's free with a $50 purchase. You can buy anything you want um, and you'll get to choose uh, that or something else as your free item. Thanks everybody. Let me know if you have questions. Have a great day. Bye-bye.